Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Civilization VI. Uh, this is the uh, New Frontier Pass, and, and uh, we just got, uh, you know, about a month or so ago, uh, we got two new civilizations, Byzantium and Gaul. Uh, if you saw the last series, we tried Byzantium. I'm not going to tell you how that turned out, but I guess the fact that I'm playing Byzantium again probably tells you. Hashtag spoiler. Sorry. Um, it didn't go so good. So we're going to try again, uh, although this time I'm going to go ahead and put Gaul in here. I should have done that last time just to see him. You know, why not? We'll throw Gaul in there and then we'll randomize the rest of them. We're still playing on deity, still playing on continents. Uh, here is the random game seed and a random map seed. If you want to try this map and game out yourself. Still not playing with any of the game modes at the moment. Uh, obviously, I had enough trouble with Byzantium last time. We'll see if I can get a little bit better this time around. All right. I think it looks pretty good. Nothing else is changing. Let's go. Come on, Sean Bean. Tell us. Tell us about Basil. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Your enemies will fear you, King Basil II, for you were forged in the fire. Let your cunning and ambition sharpen your blade. Protect your pride and stand against your foes, both within your walls and beyond. We definitely need to protect our pride after that last beatdown. Um, we did not stand against our foes, whether within our walls or beyond. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think Basil looks a little disappointed in me right now. So I'm really sorry, Basil. I made you look really bad last game. Please forgive. So let's see if we can do better this time. No coastline. So that's different. Couple deer. Wine. Cattle. Stone. Stone. Oh, stone right there. Hmm. Right next to a river to start with. Decent food right here to start with. Decent food in production. I kind of feel like this is already a better start. Although we do have some desert over here, so that's that's something to, to kind of think about. But I feel like this is a better start already. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this already a better starting location? I feel like it is. Oh, look at that. Two and three. That's actually really good. Don't have a Plains Hill tile that I can jump on right now, but I think settling where we're at, next to the river, next to the stone, all this other stuff, probably works for us. All right, let's go with this. Um, let's actually go ahead. Before we do that, though, let's move you. Let's get a little bit of spot. Okay, there is a coast nearby. Does this change anything? I don't think so. I think our city, second city being on the coast is fine by me but our first city being right here could actually put a uh, harbor there if i really needed to or i mean technically on the pearls but that probably wouldn't be what i want to do no i think this is okay i think this is okay all right count set to noble the second uh we're still going for astrology early on really want to get us the profit as soon as possible So I'm going to go with Scout. Let's kind of continue some of the same stuff that we did last time. Just got to make a couple changes. Although, did we do badly? I think we did because I actually really felt like we were very far behind. The, the kind of where I wanted to be. But I also think, oh, that's an early builder is really nice. That is really good. Does that change anything? So it just has to be adjacent to stone, right? So it does not have to be adjacent to uh, an improved stone. Hmm. I don't I honestly don't know if a, a farm right here is what we want to do. Because we've already got three food here. The next settler I get, or next worker I get out, or population I get out, I think I do want to do the two and two. 
I kind of feel like this builder is amazing, but just going to sit here for a moment. Who did we find already? Oh, Venice. What does Venice have? Uh, what am I looking? Oh, yeah. Use trade routes to foreign cities, earn plus one gold for each luxury resource at the desk. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one. Plus, we get the extra two gold in our capital right now. Very useful. Ooh, I actually feel like we're on an island. Ooh. I don't know. Is that good or bad? Probably bad, because we do eventually want to be on somewhere where we can let our cavalry run amok. Um, can't do the early set like I did last time. I'm going to go to the slinger, though. Oh, there's a little bit more up here. Maybe we're not on an island. Some decent spots for more cities down here, though. Maybe we are on an island. Goodness. Okay, this is really... This is really strange. For a continent's map... Maybe it's just the northern part of a landmass, which actually isn't that bad, because it would give us the opportunity to, um, you know, have a little bit of protection. All right, so there's definitely more stuff down here. You see a scout right here, right away. Ooh. Uh, I'll take this attack this time, but next turn I will probably move over there. Goodness, we're getting a lot of random new stuff. Um, okay, you're coming down this way. And... Okay. Not sure how I feel about this yet. Boost of bronze working is pretty nice, actually. I mean, we're going to probably have to kill three barbarians eventually, but I'm all right with getting something for free. Okay. I'm going to move you down here. This work, this warrior is going to start moving back to Constantinople at this point, uh, since I have two scouts running around. I am in a Good news, we have an opportunity for some payback. Wasn't it just last... I mean, it was last series. I literally said, wow, we haven't seen Nubia in a long time. And we get her twice in a row. Right next to us, twice in a row. Not, not even just on the map, twice in a row. Literally, our one of our closest neighbors, twice in a row. <sighs> Opportunity for some payback. That's how we're going to look at it. Goodness. Oh my goodness. She's so strong in the early game too. Those archers are virtually unbeatable in the early game. Move you up here just to get that vision there real quick. Man, that's tough. We're going to do the same thing as we did last time. We're going to push through astrology. Um, even, if, you know, since we haven't found a natural wonder yet, it's okay. We're just going to push through it. Okay. 
Got all this vision up here for now, at least. We'll be able to see if a barbarian encampment pops up. No, I think we're okay. Man, I cannot believe she's here twice in a row. That is some tough, tough stuff. It is not wisdom. How many early faith spots do we? Nope. <laughs> Another builder? Well, we're not going to need builders for a while, guys. I mean, I guess I could put a farm here just to, because we can. Feel a little weird. I'll hold off a little bit longer. If we need it for the third one, then we will, but I don't know that we're going to need that right away. Hmm. Ah, there we go. There's an encampment. I was expecting it to be one soon. How do you heal up a tick? I'm going to start moving this guy out over there, though. Just sleep for now, my friend. You know, while we can, we're just going to heal you up a tick as well. Man, I cannot believe... I uh, cannot get over that, I'll be honest. That is... Something else. Mm-hmm. Hello. We're about to get astrology at least. A physician without a knowledge of astrology. Okay. <laughs> has no right to call himself a physician. Uh I mean getting the camps would be useful, I think. Obviously getting the quarries would be useful. Let's start with the quarries. No. Start here. We may need that archer soon. Um, do we finish the settler this time? Last time I did. I think it's still the right move. I feel like we're doing the exact same thing as we did last time. Uh, and I'm somehow expecting that to be a different result. But I still feel like it's the right move. Settler first. I heard a little bit more than I wanted it to. Because I should have sent you this way, actually. It's a great bath. Flooding. At least the flooding's not literally where we're at. But it's pretty close. Hmm, dead end. If we stay here, do we live? I think so, because I think it'll be weak enough, right? I think so. We'll find out. If we move up, do we live? I'm actually going to heal a tick on both of you. And then I'm going to try and move the slinger up to finish him off. Because I'd like to get that kill with the slinger, if at all possible.
Okay, so Settler's done. I mean, yes, I'd love to get Stonehenge out. I feel like we have to get the Holy Site out, though, right? Hmm. Actually, I kind of like this spot over here. Three gold, three food, four gold, four food, one production, four food. I mean, it's going to be in the flood zones again like we had last time, but kind of like it don't have anybody escorting you so it's actually really really risky can I get you back up there in time to help at all probably not but we'll try hmm. okay you actually healed up a tick so you can be fine move up I think Finish that guy off, get us our boost. Uh, she's going to declare warm, isn't she? Oh my goodness, really? Eh. Um, if I play keep away, I think we'll be okay. She can't, he can't, she can't get to me right this second, so I think I can play keep away long enough to stay away from her. Wow, this is really a really weird landmass. If there are no dogs in heaven. Okay. So builders. Again, she might just declare war on me and take my builders. I'm kind of too scared to move it out there while she's sitting there. I really don't like you, <sighs> Miss Nubia. Let's get some vision on something. I guess I could have captured that thing, but... Uh, actually, I probably could have, come to think of it. I might have actually been able to get away with it somehow. <laughs> Would have been crazy, though. I mean, are we dead? I don't know. I mean, I always think I was dead. I'm not worried about him. Is the city's dead, though? Probably...
This is the only thing that can take our city. It's crazy. I mean, at least we're keeping this guy busy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would hate to, hate the idea of losing the slinger. But if this warrior stays a little bit busy, then... Maybe it's for the best. I don't want to move out, so I'm going to ignore that guy. I'm just going to attack this guy. I mean, obviously he's chasing me, but again, we're keeping him busy. So, again, probably okay. Go over there, hide in the corner somewhere. So that pops him out. I don't think he gets jumped though. No, so we're good. Get right back in again here in a second. Hide over there. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're dead, but at least we got him away from my city for a little bit. It's probably okay. And actually, you know what? Taking a pot shot here is okay as well. How did you attack me? Wait, did I... Oh, okay. That's, uh, for some reason, I was thinking that looked like woods. I forgot that was desert. Silly me. Um, I'm just going to move you back across the river. He wants to chase me. That's fine. Uh, we're going to have one turn on an archer. We'll get here in a minute. I'm just going to turn on the, the monuments. We're going to leave you there. Just chill, my friend. I actually think we might be okay. Yeah, we'll take this attack. Doesn't leave him out of the city. I don't want to take attack here. I just want to heal him as much as we can. Only one guy can attack him at the moment. Um, so, I mean, I don't need the builder. Mm, God of War could, again, be useful. We, we talk, talked about that last time. We're going to have a couple camps. So some food production from these two camps. Is that the only two, though? For the moment, it looks like the only two. So maybe not so much. Holy side adjacent to a river. I mean, we'll get a couple extra amenities and housing right away. And this guy can have a holy site next to a river. Um, I mean, we might not have a lot to have a holy site next to rivers, but we might be able to get a couple. So that could be pretty useful. Oh, there's the thing that gives us Rainforest Adjacency. Let's 
still feel like we're going to be killing a lot of units. Like, that's the goal of this whole playthrough. So I'm going to go with this. Okay, whatever I can do that's not going to bump this guy out of the city is what I want to do. Okay, let's get things low, but not move them out. As soon as I get mining, I'll be able to move him up here and get the quarry at the very least. I mean, I think we're, we're hanging in there barely, but we are hanging in there. And this guy needs to heal up. Yeah, I mean, white piece, I think, is fine. I, I don't... I didn't, she didn't do anything to me. She, we killed a couple units. Or, well, I guess she killed my slinger. I killed her slinger, right? That was it? I think that was it. And she slowed me down maybe a little bit, but not really like a ton, a ton. So honestly, not that big of a deal. She did slow me down. Don't get me wrong. Because I could have had my builders out here doing stuff already. But no, that's okay. We knew she was going to be aggressive early on, but, you know, not much we can do about it. Uh, you're going to go... Actually, we're about to get mine, so go there. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal mine? Finding iron would be pretty useful. Actually, would be really cool. Kind of crazy, right? But also kind of cool. Camp, pasture, and plantation. We're going to have plantation. We're going to have... Oh, you know what? One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Actually, these pastures are... Wow! Yeah, this is actually not bad. Kind of crazy, but not bad. Actually, uh, we'll believe you there, actually. Our capital is the most important thing. So that's going to be okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do the camp here. One more uh, thing, and we'll have our third... Improvements. Actually, in a dark age still at the moment, but I don't know if I'm just going to hold off on stuff for right now. What do you not like about me? Oh, districts. I was thinking it was like uh, improvements. It's districts. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fair then. Actually, we need the farm thing first. Every nation lives by exchanging. How many turns do we have? Seven. Okay. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us money. Let's 
It's good to have all these things boosted already, though. Five turns, huh? Okay, okay. I mean, I could have pushed the Dark Age, but uh, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. We missed it last time in the last game. We, we had a Dark Age. We didn't get the Heroic Age afterwards. So I'm not I'm not really going to try and push on my luck again. Is this plantation or is this... Farm? I actually don't know. <laughs> ah, farm. Nice. Pyramids. The mirror of the form. Do I have any iron? Wow, we are just... I mean... We're really bottlenecked in here, aren't we? This is crazy. Oh, there's iron right there. Hello, iron. All right, we're going to go to put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, can we survive against Nubia? Is she going to slow us down so much that we're so far behind that it takes away the rest of our game plan? Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.